Ghost Recon Wildlands is going to be the best game. 10 out of 10, IGN, game of the year. Team Martin approves? We probably shouldn't say anything before we've played the beta. <laughs> it's not recording, right? Just kidding. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Gaming in the Garage. I am the Chivalrous Toaster here with... The Ghosts. The Dragon Warriors, who I'm here with. I Today, that's what they're called, right? They, yes. Yeah, that's their name. Uh, We're going to be talking about what we want from Ghost Recon Wildlands. We got into the beta. We got a closed beta key for the PC from NVIDIA. Thanks thanks to those guys. They don't know they gave it to us. No, it was like Because a, it was in a giveaway. Yeah, random giveaway, but whatever. But... We're going to be playing it, and we're we're going to be doing a few videos about it once it comes out on the 3rd. I think it un unlocks at 9 a.m. So, I'll be playing that probably the whole day. But, I thought before it comes out, we've seen some trailers that I don't watch, because I don't like Ubisoft very much. We've seen some gameplay videos from a few channels, and I thought it'd just be good to get what we think, or what we want this game to be. I am hyped for this game. So I thought it'd be good to have somebody here. I was just going to do this video by myself. Like I do about once a week, I, I do a video. Just me. Just the toaster. Raw. But I thought, I thought you know, make everybody feel comfortable. Yeah, that's... But I thought it'd be good scary. to have a skeptic here for this video. Somebody that isn't super hyped for this game. Not because I don't think he doesn't want to be, but because oh, I want he's to be. been scarred. I want to be, for sure. Before. So, let's let Dragon get his opinion what he wants from this game real quick. What he thinks this game should do. I... <laughs> okay. So, first off, just a little quick disclaimer. I think everybody should be a Ubisoft skeptic, especially after Division. I wish I could be for this um, game. I understand. I mean, I know you've been a long-time fan of Ghost Recon. I want this game to be good. What I want this game to be is basically a nice, stealth... But not necessarily have to be stealth, and they've shown that you can take the guns blazing, jump in there, and AK-47, whatever, if you want to do that. But I want it to have good shooting. I want it to be decent stealth mechanics. I want it to be a good open world that has a decent amount to do. It's not just like the division where it's like, go find this, go kill this one guy, do this. If there's like got good mission variety, um... I want there to be good character customization from what I've seen so far. That's looking, like, pretty good. Good gun customization, which is looking pretty good so far. Um, and then I also don't want it to be the Division, where I don't want it to be the same enemies over and over, and I don't want it to be bullet sponge bosses. That's my main point. Yeah. So, coming from somebody who's really excited for this game, what I, what I want to see is what you're watching right now is Ghost Recon Future Soldier. And from, from what I've seen... From people who've played the game, from like, like those gameplay channels where they they've gotten early access codes, plenty like of people extra have. early access. I think Prestigious Key yeah, like is even playing it. Popular YouTubers have IGN, got these that sort of thing. I don't trust them. I don't. Watch <laughs> you shouldn't. But, but yeah, I I've seen it. Kind of looks like an open world future soldier, and that's what I want. Honestly, what I liked from this game is the gunsmith. I'll throw up some footage of the gunsmith. Which is, is, I've seen the gunsmith in Wildlands, and it looks very similar. It's there. I'm hoping there's more customization, not in terms of the gun, but the just options. There should be. But the gun customization was super cool in this game. That was one of the main selling points to this game. And I want to see, I want to see more. And the character smith, is what I think they're calling it, which is what it's called, yeah. really stupid name. But it looks cool. I like it. But what I want to see is just not a huge mess up. That's more than anything, I want it to be not The Division, not Assassin's Creed Unity, not Watch Dogs. I'm fine if... Uh, there's going to be some problems on release day. Yep. I just want them to look like they've not lied about how the game looks and runs. And two not have lied about things that are offered in the game. So far, it looks like they're being tr pretty truthful. <coughs> They've made they, statements like every vehicle in the game you can drive. Yeah, and uh, just kind of a quick Probably note. not a hard one. Ubisoft has also come out and said, 
post division and post watchdogs and post a bunch of other games they're going to be more transparent about initial quality um e3 and other reveal trailers as well as dlc but that's that you know okay coming from them yeah it's still a little skeptical it's still an empty promise so but, far but we'll see they've already used their mic trick that jim quisition uh, coined in the their a couple of trailers they've shown the gameplay for trailers. this one yeah for okay. where they've shown you know people talking it was from a youtube channel that i watched i don't know if it, was, it wasn't a gameplay trailer i don't think i mean i don't think that's that big of a deal though but I think it just but yes. the game's not going to function like that in multiplayer no. and co-op. No, it's not. It's not going to be that trailer for the division where they no. were like, "Oh my god, okay, this guy's over here." Let's, yeah, the what police, should we do? Here's these guys. Let's police station. Oh, let's kill them. Oh, That's not going to happen. You're going to be like the sink shot, for example. Let's just talk about oh that. Gosh, they brought that yeah. from this game, which is really cool with your AI guys, and why it's better, I think, with the AI guys is because. They will shoot, no matter what you do, right after you, or right as you tell them to. The people on your team might not. So in the trailer, they were like, all right, let's shoot. one, two, three. It's not going to work like that, okay? No. So I want them to show what the game will be. I just want single-player gameplay trailers from them and honesty. That's what I want to see for this game. And it looks so far. Hopefully, I don't. We've seen the gameplay trailers, <coughs> and the the game looks really good. I'm hoping that that's not just like what it's been in the past, where it's like a very scripted. They're all scripted. Yeah. All the gameplay trailers yeah. are scripted. But I mean, like, it's very scripted. Like they they've made it look artificially better for the trailer. And that's pretty and par that's, for the course, though. That's just. I just don't want that for this game. I don't want to come to this game Expecting and be disappointed. Something. Yeah. But definitely a fair point. I think if this game takes what what Future Soldier did, which is very fun kind of stealth or Rambo style, it was stealth was definitely suggested, which it should be in a game where you're the ghosts. Yeah, I was going to say it is Ghost Recon. You should be, if you've played the Advanced Warfighter series, that game was hard. If you went from Call of Duty to that, you would probably never beat it because you had to deal with things like <coughs> bullet drop and other other things that just make the game more difficult. And I mean, the thing is, I mean, Ubisoft's got a pedigree in making stealth games. I mean, if you think about it, Rainbow Six, Ghost Recon, and Splinter Cell are all Ubisoft games. And so, that's what I'm hoping they, they don't shoehorn the stealth mechanics in like Watch Dogs had that games. in. Yeah. Watch Dogs, the stealth mechanics was kind of like It was pretty lazily was tacked on. Yeah, it was pretty lazily it was like, tacked on. Just don't get found. And if you did, just kill the guy. And then they basically, good. I think what they were trying to do with Watch Dogs was like, hey, let's make futuristic GTA. They wanted to yeah. take a bite out of Rockstar's audience. And that's, I don't want this to be open world Call of Duty. Yeah. Basically. Far Cry, I'm fine if it's like Far Cry, where it's like, go liberate these outposts, go unlock this radio tower. Hopefully they wouldn't copy it that blatantly. Yeah, just but radio I'm towers. fine if it's that. I just don't want it to be... The stealth mechanics feel like they're forced upon you, and it's just... That, it's just, like... Things don't feel like they belong, basically. Like in, in Watch Dogs with the stealth mechanics... The division, the co-op felt kind of oh crappy. Ugh. I'm hoping that the division. <laughs> this game takes what they've learned from Watch Dogs, the division, with open world games, builds upon that, takes what they've learned from their past stealth games, a lot, I am hope, from Splinter Cell, Blacklist, mm -hmm. I had a whole lot of fun in. And this Ghost, Re this Ghost Recon did not sell very well. No, it didn't. Pretty bad, actually. But it's a fun game. I only paid like two dollars for it. It's a fun game. I'm hoping they build off of it instead of just making a Far Cry game. What I mean is, ju it's just an open world, and they're like, "Hey, you can go do some stuff." Yeah. Here's these things on your map. 
for Doom. I want the open world to feel alive. Because <laughs> I don't know if you ever played Far Cry 4. Far Cry 3 was really good. Yeah. Far Cry 4, I never really cared about the story missions. I never really no. cared about any of the side missions. I cared about killing animals to get new things and liberating outposts. That was definitely the fun of that game. And that's it. I don't want it to be that. I want it to build off of what they've learned. Hopefully they have learned. And that's what that's what I'm expecting from them. And I feel like I have high standards when it comes to open world games because they're my favorite genre. And so after I've played like a Watch Dogs and the world just feels kind of empty it's full of stuff sure but you just don't feel like any of it belongs yeah, none of it you feel you like care about you, there's just you're there and there's a whole bunch of things but you only really care about one or two of them I don't want it to be that I don't know if you have any last things you want to leave I with. swear if it's another division, I'm never going to buy a Ubisoft game ever. <laughs> I swear, if this game is like Division, I'm I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to be like, you know what? Is it Like, people could be saying, greatest game ever, game of the year. I'd be like, it's, is it Ubisoft? Yep. Nope. Not going to happen. All right. That's a bold <laughs> That's statement. It. We're going to hold you to it. That is all, guys. Unless it's Rainbow Six, because I do like Rainbow Six. Oh, and there's a stipulation. There's a stipulation. Tell us down in the comments what you want out of this game, and tell us if you have a beta code. Cause, Cause we want it. Yeah, give it to me. No, I'm yeah, just no, because I, I don't know. I just want to hear more opinions from people that are yeah, going to play bit. the game. Yeah, I think that'd be interesting. All right, guys, catch you later.